G'day, we're going to have a look at getting started with manipulating a database. So our goal here is to create queries around the data retrieved from the Queensland Government data set. The tools we'll be using is the XAMPP server, Hiding SQL to be able to write queries to the server. We're going to be using data as I said. We're also going to use Excel, Microsoft Excel, just to manipulate the data slightly or more to the point to add a unique ID to the data. These are the steps we're going to take. We're going to come back to this one in a moment. So first thing we're going to do is launch SAMP. We're going to start Apache Server and the MySQL. That's all we need to do there. We're then going to open up Heidi. Heidi is accessing the XAMPP server. Now it's the first page. It's just wanting to hook on to the local host XAMPP. And we've already set this up previously. So this is what I've got set up already. This is how it's going to start. Now I've added a few databases here. There's plenty, this is a few things I've been working on already. Now if we want to add a new database, we're going to have that blue highlighted, right click, click out here, create new database. And we're going to call this um, Rental DB. And as you can already see, I've got one here, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to uh, create a new database. Once it's created, you see here Rental DB, Rental Database. I'm going to click on that one. Right mouse click Create New Table. Now, this is a table with no, well, there's not, nothing in here, no tables at all. So at this point in time, we need to leave this just here. And then we need to jump over to our data set. We're going to jump off out of the uh, Queensland Government website. And I'm going to, I know here I can see it's a CSV. I'm, I want it as a CSV. That's what we're going to use. Um, so we're going to download that. A few seconds to download. Now, one thing I know straight away is that from previous manipulations, I know, I'm pretty certain this will not have a unique identifier. So because of that, as we know from our study so far, we need a unique identifier. So we're going to um, add in there an ID. And we're going to go one. Down here, we're going to go equals that plus one. And we're going to uh, fill down. Nope. Now we are. Just, oh, all we're going to go. We're going to go down to five hundred for this sake. For just for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to go down to five hundred. Five hundred there. And just for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to delete the rest. There's a lot of data, uh, but just for the sake of this, we're going to do that. Now, one thing we need to recognize is at the moment, we're looking here, there is a formula. We do not want a formula. So we're going to cop, we're going to select the entire row, we're going to copy, and we're going to go home. We're going to paste the values. And now when we go back here, you'll notice by pasting the values, we have a purely a number. We're going to file and save this. And your desktop. You've got a place where you can put this yourself. Um, Rentals DB, like I said. Yes. Oops. There we go. Save that. So, do we, want, do we want to keep it as a comma delimited database? Yes, we do. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go and check this. So, um, digital solutions, our database testing. 
Now what we're going to do, we're going to open this up just to make sure that it, it has rows and columns. We're going to just open up with a simple text editor. Why don't you go open up with Notepad? So as you can see here, we've got columns and it's separated by commas. So I'm happy with that. That's just checking that that is all up to speed. That's where we want it to be. I'm just going to open up these columns a bit. Now what we would need to do now is we need to create the table with these columns. Now it's, we want to do it exactly as they're shown here. So we've got ID and etc. So we're going to pull this over to here and we are we haven't got Heidi up and running yet. Oh yes we do, sorry, right here. So we're gonna pull this over to just there. And we're going to add a column. So column one is going to be called ID. The integer here is, we're gonna use, um, what do we got there? Depending on the number of data sets, we're just going to use integer because that can be large. Now we're going to leave the rest, but what we're going to do, right mouse click, click on that, create, that's our primary key. Then we're going to add, bring that across. Now yours may look like this, or you may have more space in your page. Common ID, second one is, I'm going to click on this text here, I like that, and copy that. Into there. Now I want this to be varchar. Okay, varchar meaning variable uh, characters. I'm going to add another one in, and as you can see, I'm just going to go through here and we're just going to copy that, bring it across. Pretty straightforward. Now we can weekly around with that. Now if you, you can see what I'm doing here, if you want to just race ahead in the video at this point in time and just go past this little part, that's fine. Because all I'm doing is I'm just copying and pasting. Oops, sorry about that guys. So we're gonna go here and I'm copying straight from my CSV file because I want to ensure that I've got it exactly this, the columns exactly the same. Now all of these I've just kept as Vacha. I can go back and change that. I'm just going through and adding the columns. So I've got bond, focus, postcode. Copy that into there. Locality. Okay, oops, mix me mark that up again, copy that into locality. Don't need I don't need that at all anymore. I'll finish with that. So I'm just gonna close that. Uh, do I want to save the changes? I believe I do. Uh, I press cancel there just in case. I'm not hundred percent sure. Now dwelling type. So let, let's just have a look here. So dwelling type, if we go across here, here's text. So we're going to go back here and dwelling type, we want that as variable. Our bedrooms, we want that as an integer. We could go tiny integer, but we're just going to say integer. We're going to weekly bond, we're going to say Integer again, uh, year, we're going to say integer again, month, we're going to change that. So month is a number as well, so we're going to, it's going to be integer again. On type, so we go back over here, on type, it's text, so we're going to make that voucher. Postcode is integer once again. Uh, locality is voucher. Okay. Last thing we need to do, let's, let's open this up. Um, so we can't save it just yet because we need to go basic and we haven't given our 
table name. So I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to call this March Bonds. Uh, March 2014, so that's what it is. And then I can save it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now, to get the data into this, I'm gonna just open that up, click on that, tools, input CSV. I'm gonna make sure that this part, this is really, really important, that that is it's comma. And I'm gonna go looking for my data set. And hopefully this is going to work. Sensational. Um, if I look at my data, there's my data. So now all I can I can go uh, query and I can begin my queries. I'm not going to write any queries here because this little tutorial is all about how to create a database, how to create a table in our database, and how to import a CSV into our table. So hopefully that helps you and we can get started on writing some queries.